Hello, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in to another one of my videos. Today, I'm gonna to be going through a bunch of my old freshman year videos that I found through Snapchat, Google Photos, through my friends, all that stuff. So really looking forward to it. Now this one's gonna be a bit different from my other ones. Um, this one's gonna be a bit longer, a little more drawn out. So if you want one of those short, good ones where I do something kind of interesting and something a little crazy, feel free to subscribe to check those out. This will be coming soon, but I just wanna get these out for the memories so I can have them for later because I think they're pretty neat to see. When I first went to Clemson, even before I started classes and all that, I went in this program called Explore Adventure, where I got to go to Clemson about a week early and meet some people that I otherwise probably never would have run into. And it was great going into that first year knowing almost nobody, but already having that really good group of friends to go get the dining hall with, see them in classes, go check out clubs, all kinds of that. I met some really good people that I've had a ton of fun with um, throughout the years and highly recommend it. It's just a great jump start there. And then going into Clemson, I stayed in the Burns dorm. So Burns is one of three high rises on campus. Each one has 10 floors. They're about carbon copies of each other. And I was in like their science and engineering program there. Um, so I was able to meet a ton of people in my classes and things like that that I was actually living with, which was great. I was on the second floor and the first seven, six, seven floors were like guys and then the top ones were girl floors um and then one of the high rises was all girls and then one of the high rises was either all guys or mixed kind of like mine but freshman year was so great the guys i was with were so much fun to hang out with every night just doing goofy stuff around campus seeing them in classes and all that right now here's some videos from inside burns that i took while i was there and pictures where you can kind of see my room, how it was decorated. Roommate Alex, great. We had a corner room. It was room 2B4. Um, so much fun. Everyone would kind of hang out in there. I think it was a little bit larger than other rooms. Can't speak highly enough of Burns since it's just two people per room. Um, and then there's no like suite style, it's all hall style. So everyone would leave their doors open. You could meet everybody and hang out and uh, go eat and stuff like that all the time. Uh, only downside was that the fire alarm kept getting tripped, whether it was uh, people messing with it or uh, people not good at cooking. <laughs> Happened a few times. So there's a ton of videos of uh, escaping from the fire alarm there. That was super fun. What time is it? It's almost 2 to 5. Floor 2. Alright. You guys gotta get further back. Can I be on your documentary? Yeah. Can't see anything. Oh, How you this, doing? This sucks. <laughs> you speak for all of us. Yo, can I be on your vlog? Yeah, come here. There we go. You can't really see faces, but you got it. So, bad stuff is happening right now because we were trying to sleep, um, theoretically, but the fire alarm's going off. <laughs> so, I think some kid was, like, trying to make a hot pocket. <laughs> then the microwave set it off. Watch out. I believe it. Like, right. Who makes a hot pocket <laughs> at 2 in the morning? Yeah. That's literally what we're doing. We got church in the morning. <laughs> Burns, <laughs> get it? <laughs> ah. <laughs> no fire truck. Gentlemen, we got it. Hey, we can go back to sleep now. God, if it goes off, Reese, how you feel about going back to sleep? I feel great. <laughs> we can go back to sleep. <laughs> Nice. Have fun, 10th floor people. The first week at Clemson University is huge for incoming freshmen. There's all kinds of activities being done around campus and just off campus to kind of get you in the Clemson spirit and get you acclimated. So first up, you have kind of a, uh, a kickoff indoors inside the basketball coliseum where you learn a bunch of chants for football 
and the band comes out and you meet all the different sports teams and that's super fun. And then you're sent out for a, a welcome picnic where you get to eat some food with the president. And there's all kinds of other things like parades to go to. <laughs> Activities in the a nice downtown area where there's some restaurants and stuff where I got to meet President Clements for the first time and a bunch of times after. Great guy, super nice. And one of the other neat things we got to do was to form a, a paw. <laughs> um, so they called all the freshmen. One day it was on our, our schedules. We had some activities going on and we all made a huge convoy down to the football stadium and they guided us into the shape of a paw and took a picture as like our class photo. So that was that was super neat. Um, pretty funny being in it, not really knowing what's going on and then seeing the pictures later. In the night, one of the nights, there was a um, like a paint party thing. So it was a bunch of people out in one of the fields and they had a DJ, loud music, speakers, all that. They were spraying like paint over everybody. <laughs> Some other videos here too are of the underground rec center, which is in questionable state. <laughs> um, some more explore adventure people I playing ping pong and me shoving the camera in everybody's face, which looking back, I did a lot freshman year. So thank you to everybody that was uh, putting up with me <laughs> and me trying to bring a camera, not being very good at it, but thank you to everybody for that. That looks sick. Hey, you look pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, you want me to reset? Hey, Reese, cut that up. Hey, put that up. Hey, you ready for this? Yeah. I don't want to hit your camera. You okay. Get that? I like everything. <laughs> Got that dude. Next up we have the clubs. One of the big events was called Tiger Prowl. So Tiger Prowl was where all the clubs put out a table around the outside perimeter of the football stadium, like the concourse area where you'd normally go get like a hot dog or water or use the bathroom. Um, and that was how you check out all kinds of stuff and get all kinds of cool freebies, tons of people. That's uh, where I saw the photography club, which was a great kickstart and I could go on for so long talking about how much of a benefit it was to me in my photography career. Um, and I also saw Central Spirit. Now, Central Spirit is like the on-campus sports fanatics club. So that's where you go if you want to get in the spirit, wave flags, bang on drums at soccer games, get all painted up, all that kind of stuff. And so that was a ton of fun being front row you can see some videos of me at like the basketball games and we'd rush the court um, we're doing pretty well
We freaking did it, man. We did it. We did it. We did it. So ticketing for Clemson football when I was a freshman was primarily through the lottery system. So every student was automatically entered into it. And if you're a freshman, you may get one or two tickets, whether it's hill, the lower deck, or the upper deck, with the hill being a grassy slope in one end zone where all the uh, students hung out at. And again, as a senior, you'd probably get some more um, or buy one. No one wants to do that. <laughs> um, or they would do a, a pass out like the day before the football game where you could just come by a table and get a bunch of extra student section tickets they had which was my plan as well as the plan of um, hundreds of other students so we figured out that if we camped out the night before then we would have a really good shot at getting the ticket we got there early the night before it was it was dark out and stayed there through the night next morning got the tickets news was called and everything and there were so many students that all the grass got smushed down and there were a lot of students wrapping around the block. They realized that that wasn't a great plan. So they, they put a rule, no camping out. So we loitered nearby um, <laughs> as best as we could. And I made a, a separate video on that. Ended up being first in line out of all the students there, along with Jose. Let's go! You can see in the video. Through that, I ended up getting the ticket and then getting to each football game like three or four hours before kickoff to be front row on the hill. So every single game my freshman year, I was front row on the hill, except for I believe one for parents weekend. But the only problem with being front row on the hill is that after every game, win or loss, you rush the field. And it's super fun, gather at the paw and sing the alma mater. It's super cool. Um, but when that fence gate slammed open, the metal caught my finger, my pinky finger, and pinched it between it um, so hard. And I went, did the alma mater. <laughs> I looked at my hand and it was covered in blood. I uh, went to the medic and then they recommended I go <laughs> get stitches. So that was my night. I didn't have a car on campus, so I went back to the area of my dorm, texted our, our floor group chat, and uh, said, hey guys, um, can someone take me to the hospital? They had rental cars called Zip Cars on campus and you could get an app. And I drove myself to the hospital and ended up spending the night in the hospital. I got uh, stitched up and then have a cool scar from it now. And then another super cool thing was that some streaming service was filming a movie on campus to be pushed out called Safety. So as you're walking around campus, you'd see their like posters and like, hey, just so you know, this is a filming area. You may be in the background of some shots and uh, all kinds of super fun stuff. And weird like out of place buses that had like old Clemson logos on them. And you're like, wait a second, I realized it was just for filming. Um, or you'd even see students hanging out in spots like the, the Carolyn Gardens, at least how you say it, isn't like a spot that 
students hang out at really ever. There may be like one or two or if there's like a table set up for someone giving out free stuff and there'll be some more. But uh, people don't study there. So that was like packed full of students one day, like walking through and um, sitting on benches studying and talking. And it was like super weird and just out of place. And it come to find out that they were all extras. And some of them were probably Clemson students, but they didn't fit the vibe. And you're like, I don't recognize anybody here. And you're like, nobody studies here. What's going on? And you're like, oh, and see all the cameras. And then a super cool thing, they actually filmed during a football game. So instead of like a normal halftime show, they had a fake Clemson football team gather at the top of the hill and they had them run down the hill and had everybody go nuts and kind of hide their phones if they're up front because they wanted it to be, you know, accurate so you couldn't scroll through the movie and see um, <laughs> like the newest iPhone or whatever. Uh, but it, that was super cool. Everyone was going loud, pretty almost like louder than the actual game. have them line up for like a play and then they'd like go through it halfway and then everybody would freeze like mid tackle or mid block or whatever and they'd rotate like the camera guys around and then they would have them go again and like finish out the play and that was super entertaining to see Everyone went out to Bowman Field. Normally there's a huge snowball fight and people bring sometimes lightsabers out.
and then people will hype up whatever two guys brought out their lightsabers and have a big server uh, just for fun. Dog. <laughs> but walking around, you're going to notice the scoreboard is the older one. You can see on this one that has 2018 on the, the bottom there. But when I started at Clemson, or at least when I was touring, it just had the 1981 and the 2016. Little fun fact. Um, the weird colored things are from outside the dining hall, some like art piece. Going around too, I really enjoyed just taking videos around campus when I could. Thought it'd be really fun to kind of preserve that and look back on it later and see how the campus has changed and just some of the neat elements of it. At night, some of the campus does get super creepy. There's an abandoned dorm in the middle of campus. You can still access the areas kind of around it, but at night it gets a million times creepier with especially one of the, the main elevators in the building. <laughs> you get in it, push the button and nothing happens. And just when you think the elevator's broken, you're about to walk out, the uh, elevator suddenly <laughs> plummets to the floor you selected. <laughs> That led to the craziest story of my time at Clemson. Walk around at night and we're like, oh cool, Death Valley, never been here before. Well, it turns out we hadn't made it all the way around. We were kind of hugging the wall because the side we were on wasn't lit super well, so we couldn't see anything. And we walk through, go through, okay, cool. And we look up and suddenly we're like on the hill. And we're like, oh my gosh, this is super cool. We're like, we're inside the stadium. I didn't know that this was like, I figured that there were gates that go all around, um, but that's kind of neat, you know, that they trust the students enough that they just leave it open so you can come, you know, walk through and everyone. That's, that's neat for visitors. And this is really cool, taking pictures with the rock, taking pictures on the hill and, you know, like, oh, this is super fun. And then all of a sudden, standing by the rock, we hear an announcement come over like the PA system which sounded like there's a speaker like directly above the rock that said, this is an area secured by CUPD. That's the Clemson University Police Department. Leave immediately. And we're like, what, what do you, what do you mean? What, how is this? Like we just walked, this is open. And then very quickly things started falling into place. Cause we're like, how do, like, how do we leave if like, we don't know how we, like, are we, are we not supposed to be in here? And then we start backtracking and we realized that we had accidentally walked through a huge open gate. So I guess it was like shortly before a game day. So people were filling up um, like ice and stuff like that, just getting the stadium ready. And I guess one of them left the gate open. And we, 
we didn't know any better. We'd never been on that side of the stadium before. So since it was so dark, we couldn't see the other end of the gate. And since the gate was pressed up against the similar looking fences, it just blended in. So as soon as we go by, uh, everything starts clicking into place. Like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, absolutely freaking out, trying to figure out what to do because the gate had been uh, closed behind us. <laughs> so we had been locked in to the stadium. And we're like, how the heck, how do we explain this like to anybody, you know, like, like the gates closed. Um, how do we, ex there's no, like, no one's going to believe us that we, we accidentally walked into the, you know, division one college football stadium. And we're like, oh my gosh, this is horrible. And then we had to promptly exit. And that was so scary. Um, but such a fun story to tell. Definitely my Clemson moment. <laughs> As everyone talks about what their, uh, their moment was from being at Clemson. Uh, that was super exciting and it was a, a just such a good summary of my whole freshman year such a good time with friends uh, just really enjoying all that Clemson had to offer and just doing as much as I could during the time to uh, have those memories for later and that was just so much fun if you want to look at some probably shorter content where I do some neat things fun things crazy things different things subscribe but most importantly, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.